What's going on, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to Work at a Change. Today, we're going to be talking about Michelle McDaniel. Um, and she has this thing on talking about how some men do approach women, and it's not always a great thing. I'm just going to let her explain it, and then we're going to get right into my opinion on it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. All right, let's get to it. where a bunch of men were very very upset that a woman didn't like a guy approaching her and coming up to her and she unfairly you know videotaped him because he looked at her helped her at the gym and a bunch of men were saying this is a perfect example of why men are so scared to approach women also remember this one right here who was in the parking lot loading up her kid some random man approached her from the back and wanted to ask her a question she flipped out and said stay back stay away from me then once again a bunch of men and women in this case were saying this is why men are scared to come up to women rejection the lonely male epidemic many videos of men making fun of women who are scared of men approaching them so let me show you why many women are scared when a man approaches them this woman right here rejected a man and he decided to hit her on the head with a brick understand that it sucks to get rejected and it hurts your ego a lot i've been rejected many times but i think getting hit with the brick upside your head hurts a little bit more very interesting to see many of the men who were upset at me for saying a lot of women just don't like being approached you know by a man that they don't know or a lot of the men that were just, you know, dragging that woman who was scared of the man approaching her in the parking lot, calling her crazy, saying nothing would have happened, or twiddling their thumbs and being absolutely silent on this topic. So, do you guys remember when I posted this video? All right, let's have the discussion. I, I messed with Michelle. She's cool. Been following Michelle for, what? Since she started on YouTube, man, she's at 700,000 subscribers. I think I started following her when she had 20,000 subscribers when she still made story times. So I've been following her for probably five, five plus years. Um, I've, I've had conversations with her. She seems like a really cool individual. Um, so I got no problem with her. But I will say this. Um, as far as do men need to worry about approaching women and should, it should women be as paranoid as they are? Right. Should they be as paranoid as they are? Here's my take on this, man. I think that who, it doesn't matter who you are. I'm paranoid when I walk down the street. I'm always vigilant. It doesn't matter who I'm looking at. White, black, orange, green. Um, I'm still going to be vigilant. Man, woman, I don't care. I don't trust a whole lot of people. Not that I think people are going to do something. It's not to that point. It's just that I've always got my head on a swivel. You just never know who's going through something or who's deranged. Um, so. Do I think it's bad for women to be paranoid when men come around? Do I think that woman who made that video saying, do not approach me um, at all? I'm fine with that. I know some men are against. Um, now, I don't think that a woman should go out of her way when a man's not doing anything. Like if a man is in the gym, he's chilling. Um, you don't have to make a recording, especially if he didn't do anything. If you make a recording of a man in like a gym and he's just minding his business and he take a glance at you. Do you need to make a video on him and then call him a creep? And he, he didn't do anything to you? The whole video, nothing happened? No, I don't think you should go that far. You don't have to ruin a man's reputation. But do I think you should be have your head on a swivel? If you're a woman in a gym and there's five men in there, I don't think you should normally worry about something like that. But if there's a man who's being creepy, if there's somebody who's giving you bad vibes, yeah, you should be worried. But I don't think it's to the point where like if you went into a gym and there's men in there, you should be like, oh, one of these men is going to attack me. I don't think it's to that point of, of that far. But if you're in a gym and it's just you and another man alone in there, if he's giving you some vibes, yeah, I don't mind you recording him. You don't have to put it online, but you could record him just in case he does some weird stuff because that could happen. Some people are weird. They're just people. If I was in a gym by myself with a woman, right? Funny thing is I would actually be scared of what she's going to do. That's just the kind of person I am. I don't trust nobody. And she may be scared of me. And so... I know you may say, don't, Trey, don't go out of your way to make her feel comfortable. I will. If I'm in a gym by myself and it's just me and another woman, I will go out of my way. I'll probably do my workout as quick as possible and get on my way. It's just one day at the gym. It's not going to kill me. Um, I'll be okay. I can go to the gym another day. It'll be all right. I'll just I'll walk in there, maybe get it in as fast as I can, or I'll just leave. I'll just go do to, go to some other part of the gym if that's possible. It's not that big a deal. To me, I'd rather make a woman feel comfortable than make a woman feel uncomfortable. I know some people are against that, like, oh, she shouldn't because uh, not all. You're right. Not all men would do that. I obviously agree with that. A lot of men wouldn't do anything. But 
in my opinion, I'd rather somebody feel comfortable and just going about my day. It'd be okay. I'll come back another day. If I saw a woman in the parking lot and I was going to approach her, right, if she maybe dropped her phone, dropped her wallet, me personally, I don't get close to women like that. I have a, I'm a, I got a pretty loud voice, so I can easily just go, ma'am. And she's I promise you. If I say that out loud, I know you guys hear me scream on here, but I have a really loud voice. So if I, if I yell, don't hear me. You know, I, I try not to say it scarily, like, ma'am. But I'll probably be like, ma'am, like that, you know. And I do that all the time at the store when I'm trying to get something. and I'm trying to look for something. I just say that. But I never get, like, right up to a person and be like, you dropped your wallet. You know, I'm not going to do all that. <laughs> you know, I just say the name as far as, you know, try to get close enough to where I can yell it, but not so far, not so far where I have to yell it, like, from across the parking lot. But I might be like, ma'am, uh, ma'am, excuse me. You know, you can do that in broad in the parking lot, broad daylight. But no, would I ever approach a woman? No, wouldn't do that. That would scare me if somebody walked up on me and got real close. I'd be like, "Hey, bro, hey, ma'am, don't 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 be getting that close to me, man or woman. Don't be getting that close to me. I never know. I never know. So yeah, I think people should be ready for this, right? Like I said, I'm not against women if they want to film people in the gym. At least let them know you're doing it. Or if you feel creeped out, you can always approach the management. I just would say, don't go out of your way to make a man feel like a creep and then put him online when he hasn't done anything. Don't disparage the man's character. But at the same time, I would say to my men, if you feel, and I know people are against this because some people are just, their ego is too much in the way. It's like, man, if you're in a gym with a girl alone, or if you're in a parking lot with a girl alone, or if you feel like, you're making a woman uncomfortable, just go on about your day or try to approach it from a different way. You having your ego in a way, but like she shouldn't be scared of me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we see too many stories of this kind of stuff happening. And even though it may not happen often, it does happen, right? There's always some woman who is like, I'm not going to be paranoid. He's cool. And then she gets snatched up. Same thing that happened to men. Men be like, oh, I'm cool. And then they go on. You remember the Craigslist woman who was taking all these men's life? Those men should have been paranoid. I'm just saying, there's nothing wrong with making a person feel comfortable. I try to do that myself. Y'all, the way I dress on here is the way I dress in public. I always look up. I always look people in the eye. I always say hello. I don't do creepy stuff. I always try to make people feel as comfortable as possible when they're around me. You know, and I know there's gonna be some people, you know, who who may not like the way I look. They may be scared of the way I look. But sometimes I don't know. It just is what it is. Some people, they have a past. They may be traumatized by men. And that's just the way it goes. And so I do my best to make them comfortable. And I don't think that's too prideful. I, I think that's okay. I don't know why men would get upset and be like, oh, man, this is why men won't approach women. They're too scared. That's cool. You know, there is a give and take. I agree that some women who say, why don't men approach me? Understand, there is something behind it. You, But you can't have both. Let me say that. Women, you can't say that men are possibly going to attack you and then ask men to approach you. You can't have both. I do agree with that. There is a give and take. There's just, it's just going to have to be a different way about it. Men are just going to have to learn somehow to maybe approach people in a public setting. Approaching somebody on the road by themselves may not be the move. You know, if you want to talk to a girl, you may have to talk to her in a Starbucks line or some someplace as public as you can. Try to make it as as comfortable as you possibly can. But women understand if women are saying this, I don't see a lot of women saying this, but if women, you are really saying men don't approach me anymore, try to think about them too. Try to be like, well, if he was to approach me by myself, would I treat him different if he was ugly? Would I treat him different if he was good looking? You got to understand that kind of stuff, right? Because men of different looks, if you treat men differently, then obviously there's going to be different approaches. There's going to be some men who are scared to approach you because what if there are five or seven? I know this sounds stupid, but it's true. An ugly man approaching a girl and saying you're pretty and a good looking man approaching a girl saying you're pretty are going to get two different reactions most time, right? So... It's, just, it's a hard game we got to play, but it's a weird world, a weird world we live in today. And as the Hodge twins say sometimes, it's a crazy world, you know, and it truly is. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all that. And uh, would you approach a woman in the parking lot? Would you approach a woman at the gym? Me personally, I would only approach anybody if it was most comfortable. And I normally approach people at a distance enough to where I can just if, if they if I say something, they can hear me, but not so close where they be freaked out. My goal is to make everybody feel comfortable. And another thing is I don't trust people myself. So, yeah, 
I don't disagree with Michelle. Um, I just disagree with women who say that men don't approach them enough. You just got to understand, um, you got to be careful out here and you don't want to make the woman uncomfortable. And I think some men take that into account. So of course they're not just going to approach you randomly, right? There's a give and take. If you're, if you're not looking inviting, um, don't do that, you know, or at least let the man know. I hate that we kind of have to play this cat and, cat and mouse game these days, but it just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. Too many people are unhinged these days. Um, you never know what could happen. So that's my take on it. I'm gone.